All right, we're back. Just needed to look after the cats for a little bit. Give them some food and give myself some food because I've been playing this for four hours now. It's kind of weird because I haven't really streamed much at all this month. And now, yesterday I streamed seven hours, eight hours. Now I'm streaming four hours. And it kind of works out because I have a kind of job where I can do the bits and pieces of my schoolwork while I'm on the job. We'll meditate, start with a new loop. because well, it pays well and everything, and boss seems to like me, but I'm part-time, and they're starting to cut hours, so. I may or may not get laid off. I'm hoping that's not the case, though, because I do like it. It's no stalking aliens through a dream world or anything like that, but it's one thing. Hmm. I'm not even sure if I want to bother with sequence. Upper hull damaged. Oh, that's fine. Actually, it's been a while since we looked at the ship's log, so let's look at that now. Let's see how much there is. Church camp. Privex camp. Forbidden archive. That is all I've got so far. I'm okay. The places I've already visited, I found some place, some things there. All right. <clears throat> Library full of intact slide reels, hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slide reels. Slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. I found the slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. Like in a video game. Shrouded Woodlands. A dense forest along the banks of a river. I heard music coming from a candlelit building across the water. I found a covered bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. That's really all I got. Starlit Cove. A secluded village nestled within a cove. The candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. The well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell when it sees me. I found the remains of a burnt-out building on the outskirts of the village. That's it. I feel like I discovered more than that. Hmm. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers in buildings on both shores. I found a room with a burned control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft. I found a projection that shows the stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. There is more to explore there. Hmm. 
Now the fire chamber, I'm, I'm assuming that's referring to the inside of the submerged structure. Or is it? I'm not sure. Hi, Rainer. How you doing? How you doing? Hmm. Okay. That's basically all I got for now. And yes, I did get the the vessels, uh, the coordinates for the Eye of the Universe, for the vessel, just for the halibut. Hmm. I wonder if I'm gonna find any more of those duplicate re slide reels that show me piece bits and pieces that were burned off the originals that I saw. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Let's do a little more exploring. We'll do a little more exploring with the air, the space between areas. There we go. So we'll take this up, and we're gonna we're gonna go to the mortuary on the cliff side. That'll allow us to. Or no, if we go to the mortuary, yeah. If, if we go to the mortuary on a cliff side, it'll take longer to get through, but that's okay. No, this is the dam. Cliffside Mortuary is at the Hull Breach. Ah, heck. I'm here now. Let's explore this a little bit more. The reservoir still has stuff that needs to be explored. this big chain here. What is this chain connected to? Okay, this is the thing that showed me there's a room inside. Yeah. There's some broken controls that probably do something with the submerged structure. And that's it. That's all there is to this area. Hmm. The vault's on the inside. Wait! There's a green light in the structure. I could take one of the artifacts. Yeah, I could take one of the artifacts and go here. Alright, so... Okay. Alright, it's too late to do it now. Let's do that next. Let's do that this time. I didn't even realize I had spent this much time on this game already. Um, we'll play for another hour or so, maybe. I can't stay up all night, but... I want to beat this game. I don't feel like I'm going to beat it tonight, but... I want to get close enough that I can figure out the steps I need to do to get to... get to the end of the DLC and do whatever it's asking me to do. Because I'm still not sure if it gives you an alternate ending, or 
it de if it even does anything. Maybe it's just like a birthday cake at the end, and then it says the cake is a lie. That's always possible. You never know. I imagine it's some sort of... It's either its own ending, or it's something that modifies the normal ending of the game somehow. I'm kind of thinking it just modifies the ending of the game. Similar to how visiting Solanum modifies the ending of the game. When you visit, when you get to the Eye of the Universe. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so what we want to do is grab an artifact, then go up that elevator. We can do this. This can be accomplished. There's an artifact workshop right over here. Same artifact workshop we've been visiting several times over the past few weeks. This doesn't have to go into my sequence of events. There we go. Because that would put a damper on things. That was a weird noise. It sounded like air being released. Uh, let's top off for fuel. I just realized I can't use my scout launcher while I'm holding this. Okay. There we go. Freeze detected. Submerged structure. Has electricity coming out of the antenna? Do they do wireless energy here? Is that what the implication was supposed to be? At the top of the candlelit tower? Okay, so we are here. And we can doze off. Is empty, whatever it is. There's a view hole there. There is a way down. What happens if we go here? This is something else I should have thought to do a while ago. Okay. This is a new area. Yeah, we're below the world now. Okay, so we need three codes. Wait, we need more than three codes. Okay, that's the vault. Tower. 
The top of the tower, okay. So, what's the whole point of the... The, whole, the dream tower. Three? This is not like a slide reel. I'm not in control of how many. Okay, we're looking at someone else's memories. Lights turning out. That is another doorway. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the only time those lights would go out is when the tower gets hit by the water. Because it seems like that messes up the lights. Oh. That's an important thing there. It's not gonna get close enough. Okay, so I need a code for each of the three phases. There's a bridge here. That's a raft there. Then I have to remove those. Now since this is below the world, maybe I'm not meant to beat this. Maybe that's what the falling in between loading areas is supposed to do. Can we see this again? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, let's skip this. No, we can't skip it now. Nova, what you doing? Heck, you know what? We should just go to the tower now. Because chances are, the dam is about to break. Okay, so... Our dude that we're seeing through the eyes of... Lights off. Lights off. Three lights off. Then he goes through. Okay. the dam, I think. Hope we just go through the water. <gasps> no. I don't think the dam has burst yet. Probably coming close to bursting, though. Okay, we need... Is that a raft I can use? No, there's no raft there. There is a raft over here, though. We're going to need to use that in a moment. Is or the dam is gonna burst any moment now, and I just have to get onto this raft. There we go. Perfect. The music's different. Why is the music different? I mean, I'm not complaining. Just wondering if it means anything. Heck. That's the Outer Wilds motif. Ah, I was afraid that was gonna happen. It would cut out the music. That's okay.
I've never actually seen what it looks like when I'm just sitting here being lowered down. Watch the dam chooses to burst right now. That'd be kind of hilarious, actually. Alright, this is the motif I was listening to at the beginning. I don't know if I need the artifact for this, but I don't see any reason to drop it. The only reason we need to drop it is if I need to use the scout launcher. appreciate the fact that, you know, you go in the front door of the tower, it's just like that candlelit chamber. And you're like, oh, I guess that's cool. Then you go in here and you're like, oh, there's a hidden spiral staircase back here. And then at a certain point you realize, oh wait, no, it's a double helical spare staircase. There are two sets of staircases here. Are you holding artifact? I forget what that slide reel is. That light is out. Why is one of those lights out? I can't just turn out the lights directly like that. Is there something I can do up top, or do I just have to wait? I'm thinking I just have to wait. There's the dam. So, now we play the waiting game. Waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Yes, I watched The Simpsons. Oh, I did. I am aware of The Simpsons existing. It's funny how that raft kept continued on. That might be the same raft that I was on before. That started in, in the reservoir there. Or it could just be that it just respawns after a while. And so it ends up in the same spot. Okay, come on. We haven't got all day. It's only the end of the universe. I just walked off the top of the tower. But it was just the staircase. That's not the first time I've done this on this tower either. Okay, any minute now. Oh. Okay, that's cool. It's fun to watch. Alright, so these cables are still going. get into the tower because if this like throws me around I don't want to be at the top where I can just fly off okay is that gonna put the lights out no it's not shoot I was hoping that would put the lights out I 
I don't think there's any way to disconnect it from power myself. It might... This might be just something I have to wait for. Oh no, that raft is turned upside down. That's kind of a shame. No, the only other op... I was thinking, like, cause... Yeah, you know what? I've seen this tower with, like, a severe lean at one point. And it does seem like it loses power to some of these, but I don't remember which ones, because that was, like, early on. That was, like, one of my... That was part of my, early on in my first session of this. I didn't even really get a good look at what those symbols were. I don't have any way to disable the lights from the inside. I just realized that's the same symbol. I didn't notice that before. They look like antlers intersecting. There's a lot of antler motifs here, which makes sense. Considering that they have antlers. Kind of like how humans are obsessed with hands. Stop sign. Thumbs up. If you were, like, an antler-based race, I imagine you'd feel it's kind of similar about that. In a lot of ways, antlers are, like, beards or hair. They'd be growing out certain ways, and they'd say something about you. Maybe they'd give you certain aspects of your personality. Alright, we're waiting. Not sure how long we have to wait here, though. I do know that this does fall over some more, eventually. I don't know what causes it to fall over, though. I mean, it's already got a severe lean, so maybe it's just a matter of time. There isn't really anything in particular that causes it. It just happens. Due to its weakened state. There's a couple of dam pieces. Pieces of the dam. I don't think there's anything bigger than those bridges or pieces of dam or whatever that swip that like drift along and hit it hit the tower. It is possible, but I don't think there's anything larger than those. And they don't seem to be hitting the tower, so... I'm thinking it's not necessarily an external force, it's just the tower. Leaning in a severe way. This is probably really fun to watch. I mean, look, we're on a ring world. You can't complain about that. It's friggin' awesome. I've always enjoyed the concept of ring worlds. Oh, that's part of the tower. Even the towers themselves look like they have antlers on them. Now, the first time... I thought about, like, a ring world type thing is... There's this old Choose Your Own Adventure book. I used to love when I was a kid. I liked, I liked Choose Your Own Adventure books, but there's this one I really enjoyed a lot that was... I forget what it was called, but it was about being at the center of the Earth. And the premise of the book was... There was a second world inside the Earth. And at the beginning of the book, you're... I don't know, you're in the Arctic or something like that. And then there's there's this giant crevice that you're work you're kind of like doing research on with your science team, I guess. And you're supposed to be like a science student or something like that. 
and you end up going down it. And you fall down, but at a certain point, gravity gets lower and lower as you fall down until you find equilibrium with gravity. Which I thought was cool, because it's like you basically you're in like you're in zero G. And what that actually meant in the in the books, in the story's logic was that you had reached the point in between worlds where before gravity had reversed. It's not actually very well explained why gravity is reversed in the inside world, but once you get in there in the in the in this choose your own adventure story, you're dealing with like these ape-like people. And like and there are like bizarre things happening. Whoa. Deer. All right. <clears throat> Am I back? I don't know if I'm back or not. My cat did it again. She. Oh. Okay, stuff is happening on screen. I don't know how well you can see it, but stuff is happening. The tower is now submerged, and we are at the end. Okay, so the tower is like almost sideways. The lights are still on though. So, and right before that happened, my cat had decided to step on the power button, like she enjoys to do, like as, as she is wont to do. Let me reset my displays. Okay, and we're not getting that frame rate issue we were last time, which is good. OBS says it's still streaming, so we're still live. Hopefully. The Twitch page says I'm still getting a bit rate, which is usually a good sign. Hey, you. I got the power button covered up now, so she won't do that again. At least for now. I know you're devious. I know that you're trickster. Yeah, so playing the waiting game does not work for this. We need to figure something else out. I really feel like I had done some... I didn't even do anything. I, the lights had just turned themselves off one time when I happened to be looking at the top of the tower. Or maybe it wasn't... Maybe the lights didn't even turn themselves off, but the power cable at the top of the tower it seemed like it wasn't fully functioning. Let's go check it out. See if we can get to the top of the tower before... Oh. Can I even do this? There we go. Oh, no. That's the end. Hmm. That was kind of a waste of a loop, it feels like. There's something that can cause the lights to go out, obviously, because otherwise why would that sh be shown to me? The only other possibility is... I'm in the wrong version of the tower. <gasps> now the frame rate is starting to go to garbage. Okay. So, I'm gonna stop for a moment. I think I need to reset the stream since OBS is crapping out on me.
that seems to happen after my computer was put into suspend during a stream. Not the first time my cat has done that, by the way. So we're gonna shut down the stream for a moment and take a five minute break. And I will be back shortly. <laughs> 